hey guys and welcome back to another video so in the previous video we have seen how you can create a uh, rest api endpoint so using mockable.io service so in that video we have created uh, four endpoints uh, that was for home about a uh, header and a footer so basically that uh, endpoints consist of a json body or response so you can see it as and uh, whenever you hit that particular endpoint you will get a specific response for that endpoint for example if it's a header you'll get a header response so uh, taking in um, uh, that though taking those endpoints as a base for our application we'll be using that uh, endpoints to create a express app uh, using nunjux templating uh, in the further more coming videos so uh, the idea for today's video is to demonstrate how you can get started with express so over here uh, you can see the documentation of express js so it is a, a javascript a javascript framework for creating uh, routes and servers and uh, creating web applications in general for web as well as mobile right so uh, it's a JavaScript and uh, for that uh, you need to install node.js so over here you know, this is the link to download node.js uh, to your system it uh, can be either Mac Windows or Linux so based on your preference you can download the appropriate version um, for my system uh, it is Linux so uh, I'll just put this uh, link in the description so you can directly uh, follow the given instructions over here uh, as you can see how to install node.js on Ubuntu and uh, some basic uh, uh, commands over here that is update install node.js and at the end you will uh, see the version of so I'll just uh, put this in the description please do install node.js and then continue with express so this is the documentation side for express uh, for today's video I'll just give you a, a short demo uh, how you can get started with a specific route and uh, what that route can give you in response so if I hit a home route or a about route what response I should get with that route so uh, uh, let's get started with creating a basic folder so let's create a folder and name it as express let's open this folder in a specific IDE for uh, uh, for your convenience uh, I'm using VS code and I'll recommend uh, using VS code because uh, it gives you a lot of functionality out of the box so opening it in VS code and as you can see um, our fold right now is empty so um, let's create a new file called uh, server or let's name it as app.js so it is a JavaScript file and uh, let's uh, begin with opening the terminal and hit the command npm uh, make sure you have node.js installed because uh, the package manager which is npm is required for whatever uh, app you build around the node.js ecosystem so it is a must go ahead and download it first so I'll definitely put the disk uh, link to this guides for uh, Node.js uh, installation procedure as well as the official uh, guide of uh, Node.js in the description below and let's move on to the terminal and uh, uh, hit the command npm uh, in it so it will ask uh, you for your application name so let's name it as a demo project or demo express app and uh, sorry the name is not your friendly so just uh, express app maybe so 
this yeah. okay so version 1 description you can provide based on your preference and I'll just okay yes okay so as you can see over here we have a JSON package.json file which will consist of your uh, project details that is your name version description you can uh, change this uh, JSON file after completing your uh, project or even in the middle of your project based on your convenience you can do that and uh, all your dev dependencies will be installed within this so whenever you uh, use this as a project and uh, push it to github and whenever someone uh, clones it and downloads it make sure you have that package.json uh, file installed within your project folder so whenever you hit npm like uh, install all the dev dependencies required for your project will be installed as a default and you can go ahead and perform the uh, shard operation so this is our package.json and uh, let's create a variable uh, const express require So this is uh, your express uh, variables but uh, before that uh, we are going to install uh, the framework express itself okay so move on to your uh, terminal or navigate to your terminal and uh, hit the command npm i or install express so over here you will see some changes uh, there will be two more uh, files included which will be one one will be a folder and uh, one will be your package json or package log json so it is your dependencies within that uh, you don't have to alter that in uh, entire project uh, once uh, this is done the express will be installed within your dependencies uh, setting that is this uh, package JSON file so make sure the app is over here so whatever uh, dependencies or libraries which you are installing via npm you get it over here within the dependencies section so and this is your node modules so it's like a basic default boilerplate kind of a thing which you get when you work with the node.js environment so yep this was uh, the part for installing your express app and let's clear this let's uh, move on to the code now let's create a app variable and initialize your express express and uh, let's create a port const and uh, it can be 3000 which uh, which is going to be your local host 3000 and uh, let's create a route um, dot get it is going to be a get request uh, you can give it as a home route maybe empty based on your choice but I'm providing a home route to be more specific let's provide a callback and uh, the callback takes to arguments which is a request and response and request is going to be your uh, home route and the response is one which I'm going to send as an HTML template so it is going to be an h1 tag uh, let's uh, give it as hello world and uh, let's initialize the port with listen so this is going to be your uh, server listening to your port let's give a call back and uh, let's log within that logs let's mention started 
on port. So over here you are done with your uh, basic uh, HTML, sorry, basic uh, express uh, structure. And let's uh, navigate to your terminal and uh, run the server node app.js. So started on port 3000. Let's uh, move on over here. You can see the response shown all over. World. So, yeah, it was a previous response, uh, but this is a new one. So, refresh it, you will get the hello world h1 tag with this home route. So, if you hit another route like empty route or about route, you won't get the response. But with the uh, home, you will definitely get one. Okay, so over here I've shown you how you can send templates like in the response or uh, with a specific request like over here. But uh, what if uh, you need to send an entire HTML file which have some uh, CSS within it. So let's look that part two. So let's close this over and clear this. Now let's create an basic HTML file uh, that can be home dot html and let's begin with a simple html boilerplate code h html5 this is the best part of using vs code you get everything on your snippet part so home let's create an h1 tag hello well, let's create a paragraph. Hello, well, whatever you can name it as. That was unnecessary, but uh, yep. Just put something meaningful. Just for demonstration purpose, I've shown you. So this is going to be our simple HTML file, and let's change the send method to send file let's uh, provide the path right now I don't have any complex folder structure to uh, provide you the entire path but uh, if you have it within your root folder just uh, provide the home HTML entire file name let's navigate to your uh, terminal and hit the command node app js as you can see you are rendering a template HTML template from a file okay so this was your response with the uh, HTML file and let's see how you can add some CSS with it style background color blue okay so it is an inline uh, CSS you can definitely add an external file so you can do if that is more preferable to you let's close this clear and run the server again refresh it so yep, this is your background color and this is hello world with a paragraph so this uh, was a basic idea of how you can uh, use the response send and send file method to either send an HTML file or directly a response template. Okay, let's clear this. Now, uh, how you can uh, dynamically feed in data to your HTML tags, like uh, we do uh, Jinja templating for Django with Python, right? So, similarly for Jinja for Python express provides you different templating engines that can be ejs pug uh, nunjux and many different more so over here you can get a brief idea of how you can use templating engines within the express documentation so i recommend you to definitely go through the entire documentation for the just a basic idea of uh, uh, how you can uh, get started with express and uh, how you can uh, create a basic route and things like that uh, these are the different options for your templating engines 
and uh, in the next video i'll be showing you how you can use lunjox and express to feed in dynamic data uh, to your html tags so over here the html over here has a hard coded data right but what if the data is coming from a api response like uh, the one which we are going to use in the future videos so if the image is image url is coming from an endpoint or your h1 is going to come in from an endpoint and etc so for that you need uh, templating engines to feed in data from an external source without hard coding it so in the next video i'll be showing you that stay tuned for that one and whatever resources uh, which i'll be using in this uh, uh, mini series will be available in the description guides or whatever so go ahead and check that out and uh, if you have any concerns queries or questions regarding this thing you can uh, surely comment down below and uh, make sure you have those api endpoints ready because we are going to use those api endpoints in the further videos to provide some dynamic data to those templates and things like that to get a better idea in the future videos so yep this was it for this video guys and summarizing in this video we have learned how to get started with express and how to send an html file in response to a specific request route that was home right yep uh, this was it for this video guys and thanks for watching